Oh, boy, this anchors away. Welcome to Big D Country. This is your love of whatever print DJ. Yeah, I got another one. Okay, so this time, I still haven't got my money net. Now, my other bank, the one that I normally pay rent with, now, if the third for the fall on the weekend or the two days before I get the money usually falls on the weekend, I get the money that Friday. And so remember, I was supposed to then have that letter of death that never came here. Probably would have went to uh, the old address at the past split. And I didn't know if I got the letter of death already. And I hope they didn't cut off the payments yet because I don't know if they did. Then I'm I'm, I'm going to be stuck not being possibly not being able to go to PodFest 10-year anniversary. And... It's going to really break my heart not to be there because, you know, I've been stuck. I've been stuck in a heat wave without food all, off and on. And, well, I did eat a couple of times when I moved here. But now, I you know, I had a pizza one time when I got here and I got Burger King uh, when, I, when I was here. But I had some chips and I'm down to my last bag. I am literally stuck. I can't get to a food pantry because it's supposed to be. Okay, it's supposed to be really bad. It's supposed to be 104, and I'm surprised it's not excessive heat, but it's just heat advisory. And it's supposed to be uh, 104, or at least the real life, te- uh, real field temperature 104. And then after that, it's no more triple digit. Uh, hopefully, it could be just regular heat so I could get acclimat- uh, acclimated to it. Because it's like I've been knocked out almost every terrible heat wave been just knocked out and thankfully I'm not anywhere being knocked out or like I'm always in a bed somewhere when I'm knocked out but still this is ridiculous I can't get any help at all I can't get any help at all and, I'm, and if I'm left for dead I'll be like at that Burning Man situation where it, it took people days just to get out except for the rich people that was able to you know get out the rich man I think it was because of flooding or whatever like that what happened and some of other people haven't been able to get out for days, and there's still people there in Arizona, in the desert. You never catch me that because I barely survive here. I barely survive in here, and I haven't even got my money yet. And it's uh, now I could still, if they haven't cut me off yet, I could still get my money today. I can still probably get my money tomorrow, but it's a long ass wait. It's a long ass wait. I mean, this is ridiculous. This is absolutely, at least when I'm at Viral, they gave me an email saying, your money coming in such and such a day at 11.30 uh, a.m. You know what day, you know what time the money will come in. As far as uh, my other bank, uh, which I will not mention, but as far as my other bank is concerned, I don't know what, I don't know what day. Well, I do know what day because it's always falls on the 10th, but I don't know what the time. And then the 10th, this month is on the weekend. And then I don't know if it's the, the last, you know, the last money because, you know, I've been here in Texas since May. You know, I've been in two extended stay hotels. I've been to the Pathlet. Now I'm in Galveston. And I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know how long I'm going to survive. I mean, this is ridiculous. And then if I can't get my money, I can't get my ID. I can't get I can't get my ID. I'm supposed to have my uh get my ID on the eleven. I mean this is ridiculous. And then it's gonna put me in a vine because I can't go to Podfest tenth anniversary. It's almost like I would have asked for the authorization, you know, out of nothing. Because, you know, when I be able to get to pay regular rent just to six twenty five when I'm able to pay there, I mean it's going to be too late because it's like October, November, December, and then January. And then five Fest is the last part of January. I won't be able to make it. I won't be able to make it. Because my plan was to put probably either $400 or $500, or $500 toward the hotel room. Then I, then I will pay for the tickets. Okay. Then with my... Uh, on my only payment that I will have would just be disability. That would be my only payment to have what they cut me off. Uh, then I will have to try to try to see if I could do 
where I always usually do uh, one way first. I never do round trip because I can't always afford to do round trip. So I always split the payments. Now, unless I could do one payment with the uh, with my points, I could do one payment with my points to get to Orlando, and then the uh, other payment, uh, the other, yeah, the other payment. Because when I use points, all I have to do is make a small payment, and then I can use my point whether to get to Orlando or whether to get back to Texas. Then I still have to get the tickets to PodFest. I think I have a hundred dollars off because I was rejected from speaking this year. But now I don't feel too bad because everybody had to pay, even the speakers. Including the speakers, everybody had to pay. So after I at least paid for the hotel, I was planning you know, at least half for half for the hotel. I was at least plan plan to pay for the other half of the hotel once I do other things. But I got October, November, and December to do it. Then I got to do Lyft probably in January. Probably get Lyft cast in January, and that's all I could do. Probably either Lyft or Mirrors, depending upon if I don't know when they're going to stop the check. I don't know. Because if it's immediate, then I don't know what to say. And I don't even know how long it was about because I can't get food. I can't get what I need. I, I'm literally stuck. I mean, I'm just literally stranded. I'm just literally stranded. I have a roof over my head, but I'm stranded. This is why I don't call it home. I'm not home. I'm not home when I'm when I can't get to what I need. I'm not home when I don't have a family. I'm not even home if I don't have my late wife. It's not home. It's just a place that a roof over my head. It's just a second palace. It's not even a palace now. Home is on a carnival ship. Home is podcast movement. Home is podcast because there's good people there, better people, way better people there than what I have been experiencing. Okay. Now there was a couple of nice there was a couple of nice people in the past, but except for that Karen and a couple couple of nice people here, but not a lot, not a lot. So I'm not home. I'm just at the second palace. I'm just at the second palace. The palace is home. Palace is home. Okay. I mean, this is ridiculous. I. I Oh my God! Oh my God! I mean, I, I, I don't want to. I don't know what to do if I cut off. I kept checking, kept checking the bank to see if I had the money. Uh, kept checking, kept checking, nothing. When the tenth falls on, yeah, when the tenth falls on the weekend, okay. The tenth is on a Sunday this month. So, oh my God! I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. And it's already 86 degrees. It probably already feel like 90 or or, or 95 or 100. I don't even know what happens just anymore. I don't really know. I just need food. I 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 wish I would have had a way that I could say the name of my PayPal.me, but it was so difficult to pronounce and all these slashes and dashes and stuff that you have to give I'll just leave it on the marquee and if you could just help I'm not gonna stop asking for help once I get either some help but I just need some help I mean this is really ridiculous I mean now I would be forced to fend for myself I can't work I'm, 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 I have a birth defect I'm literally disabled and if I did want to get a job most of the money would be able to go, would be only going towards transportation I mean, that's what happened before. I mean, uh, the job that I like when I wanted to go and I got sick and then I wanted to go back, but I couldn't because I didn't have the money to get back to work. And so I let it go. I mean, because most majority of the money that you get, it goes right back to transportation. I mean, it's ridiculous. And then inflation. Oh, boy, it's probably even bad. It's probably bad now if I did have a job. If I wasn't able to work, if I could get a higher paid job, it probably would be, be worse. And then I can't like, date anybody at work because they won't let you. 
They don't let you date at work. You know, like eight hours that you spend during the day in one place. And you can't date anybody or even that. Half of the people is taken any any damn way. And at some points, you can't even date the customers. Even if they like you. It's really ridiculous. I mean, I just been to a place, even though the Wi-Fi was terrible, I just been to a place where when I was talking to somebody, I really enjoyed talking to that person, even though I was complaining. I really enjoyed talking to that person because she kept calling me sweetheart and dear after every sentence. And I enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that. But the fact of the matter is, it's almost like I'm left for dead. I'm left for dead. I don't know when I'm going to get my money, if I'm going to get it at all. And I don't know if it's going to be the last payment. And then my birthday's going to suck. Because, I mean, yeah, I could probably go to Pleasure Pier for my birthday if that's even open. I could probably go there. I'm close by there. I probably could go there for my birthday. But other than that, if I couldn't go anywhere on my birthday, that would literally suck. Okay. So I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. 2023 hates me.